Class A semi-state had top-ranked Linton and fourth-ranked Eastern Hancock. Miners 0-7 all-time at semi-state. The home team Royals silence a large visiting crowd early. Cooper Henderson takes a snap, finds the end zone for the touchdown. Two-point conversion made it 8 nothing. Ensuing possession, Linton trying to answer one of their many running back weapons. Mitch Eberhardt gouges the defense for a big game, but the Miners would turn the ball over on the next play. Zane Hain has been incredible when the Miners have needed him most in the playoffs. Big game for the Royals here, and Hayden strips the football, recovers the fumble. Minor football, but once again, they couldn't capitalize. Late in the half, Eastern Hancock with it tight. Third and three, quarterback Logan Splatter keeps it himself and wins the sprint to the pylon. That put Eastern Hancock up 15 to seven. But once again, it's Hayden time. Bo Eaton with some time in the pocket, and he finds his man for the 45-yard strike. That pumps some energy into that minor offense. Could Coach Oliver, he decides to go for two. They give it to Eberhardt. He picks up a block, fights his way across the goal line, a little flex. Linton within seven. Eastern Hancock drove all the way down into field goal range, had a chance for more points to close the half. Linton continues the momentum with a block kick. And we go to the half with the Miners trailing 15 to 8. Royal star running back Spencer Gilbert showing why here. He makes one man miss, then shows all kinds of power and finesse down the sidelines for 38 yards. He dies for the pylons, but's ruled out at the six. The Miners get two stops, but on third down, Gilbert plunges in for his 37th TD of the season. A two-point conversion made it 23-8 Eastern Hancock. Things never got any better for Linton. Eastern Hancock wins 37 to 16. The Miners are now 0 and 8 all time at semi-state. I mean, they're a great bunch of kids, the senior class. I'm forever in debt to them. I love every single one of them. Um, they come out and play with a lot of motion. Um, they led this team to the, where we're at now when no one expected us to be here. And I'm forever in debt for them. And, for them for the coming out and performing the way they did this year. Yeah, I mean, thank you very much to it, it definitely doesn't We're feel any better still. the third time around. I mean, thing. every single time it it sucks just the same amount. This game it really, it really is. Fans were true. It's, it sucks. Reason. One of these days, I promise you, we will get over that hump. Um, either I'll be the head coach or someone else. We will eventually get over. I mean, there's enough young guys coming up. We've got a heck of a youth program. And they, there's a lot of youth kids out here, and they know, they're watching this right now. They're seeing all the tears and all the emotions that the kids have. And they're, we're going to get there. We're going to get over that hump, and we're going to win the state championship one day. I promise you that.